Nazi B, welcome to my channel. So as you can hear in the background, it's the new song from Bright with Snoop Dogg, YG and somebody else, I can't remember. And that is such a good soundtrack and it is such a good film. I do not understand why the critics are giving it such bad reports. I think it is an amazing film. But anyway, off that note, let's turn this up Rocky down. I am on today to talk a wee bit about my new tattoo that I got with Chili Peppers tattoos. Carly Wright done it and she has done a lot of my tattoos. She's done this one, she's done this one, this one, and this one, and she will be doing the rest of my tattoos for the future. I've recently sent her like portraits of my favourite rappers. I'll not say any names yet because I don't want to scud myself, but I want to really, I really want to get my favourite rappers on my leg because hip hop has been there um, through my whole life and it has saved me in previous years whenever I was a wee bit younger. The hip hop really just, the lyrics and stuff, some of the lyrics really related to me at the time and I just felt like I really needed it and it helped me and made me feel strong and confident and literally it's just the best genre there is. So. That is my plans for my future tattoos. This tattoo, I really love it. It started off with just the, the front piece and then I was in with my friend getting her tattoo and I thought I would book in for the next day to come around and get it wrapped right around my wrist. So basically this is an ivy leaf. I had seen this online and just thought it was very aesthetically pleasing and I love how it looks. I didn't actually realise the meaning until I came across it on Google that ivy is a plant which grows through the, sh the hardest soil so it's basically like a representation of something growing through bad conditions and I sort of see that as myself because I've grown through quite hard conditions, a quite hard upbringing, even I still struggle daily to deal with the stuff that I deal with but like the ivy i sort of come up through it all i still continue to be as positive as possible and happy so i just feel like that is a really good representation of me oh it's snowing it's snowing i hate the snow i really hate the snow it's nice to look at but whenever you have to walk or drive and it, it is not the one but anyway i'll let god do his thing if he wants to make it snow make it snow anyway back to the point um where was i forget me I do plan to make like a tattoo tag video but not for a while because I would like to finish off some of my other ideas first. I'm sort of obsessed with tattoos at the minute but it's fine, it's fine. We don't mind. I love tattoos. I love how they make me feel, how they make how they make me look. I just, I really love them. I think they're so cool for like a form of self-expression. Anyone who doesn't agree with them is totally fine with me. Like everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I just think seeing someone with tattoos is just like it's so nice to look at and especially if they have a story behind them and they mean something to the person. A lot of mine mean something to me and then others were just aesthetically pleasing. Like I just like the look of them. At the minute they're sort of blobby, like they're sort of everywhere and that's why I'm thinking of like sleeves and stuff at the minute because I really just want to join them together. But anyway, that's a different video for a different day. So my experience with Carly was brilliant as usual. Carly and Craig really make me feel, and Sharon, they make me feel really, really comfortable when I'm there. And it's more like, they're like a, f a group of friends that you go in and speak to, you know, you never feel awkward. You have a laugh, have a chat, blah, blah, blah. And I've known Carly for so long, so, it's good for me to go to her to someone that I know and if I'm ever uncomfortable or in pain or need to swear at her she doesn't mind. Although I don't swear so I usually say something like you big fart face rather than other words. But she doesn't mind that so she puts up with me well. Not that I ever really moan or complain. I usually try and sit really well for her because I have that respect for her and I and she's an artist and I don't want to disturb her while she's at her art. I don't really like to say that the pain is sore because the more you think about it, the more you say it, then the more it actually is sore. So I try it and ignore it the best I can when I'm getting a tattoo. Carly doesn't find it awkward if I sit with both my headphones on and blast music and she's sitting there with like no one to talk to. Well, she talks to Craig and whoever he's tattooing, but 
she doesn't feel awkward that I don't speak to her. She knows it's not a personal thing. It's just I don't like to hear the needle. I don't really like looking at the needle. I just stick my music on and go on my own wee world. So Carly will be doing all my future tattoos unless I plan to go like abroad then I usually get someone else to do a tattoo while I'm there but apart from that Carly will be doing all my tattoos and um, she is the one. So a big shout out to Carly and Craig and Sharon at Chili Papers Tattoos and I will see you on Saturday because I'm coming for another one on Saturday and then I'll probably be there the following Saturday and I'll probably be there the following Saturday after that. <laughs> Obsessed! But no, I really do love tattoos. Um, I just think they're so great and I will continue to get them. I don't care about anyone's opinion of them. I love them and that is all that matters. So, there you go. But anyway, Bright, what a film. What a show. Like, I absolutely love Will Smith. He's, he is up there with my favourite actors next to Denzel Washington. Not only because of his acting, but because of his just personality in general. Like, I watch a load of motivational videos and he's always in them speaking about hard work and consistency, consistency and having no fear. And I just love his attitude to life. And someday I want to meet Will Smith. I would um, class that as, like, one of my big dreams. I'd love to stand beside him and get a picture. And even, not even get just get a picture, but, like speak about life because we're sort of on the same wavelength what he thinks like I think a lot of the same thoughts so it's, it'd be really cool to meet Will Smith so Will Smith if you're watching hit me up <laughs> right, but anyway Bright is like amazing I would have I would probably put it in my top 10 film films um I love movies and it would probably be very hard to get in my top 10 it's not every day that I watch something I'm like oh top 10 but I really enjoyed it, like, it was like gangster, it was um, funny, action, had loads of action, loads of great action, a great storyline, it had fantasy, magic, like, just had everything that you would want. So, yeah, bright, good film, watch it, 10 out of 10. But, anyway, enough of my rambling. I oh dear. Oh dear. I think that was a sign for me to stop talking. So, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you've got this far, I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next one. Until then, stay blessed, be happy. Don't forget to smile. The world is a beautiful place and it is such a blessing to be alive today. So don't forget that and just keep doing you. Ciao. Well, it's Jazzy B. Um, today I'm getting my eighth tattoo. I'm not sure if you would call it my seventh or my eighth because it's really joining this one right on round to the back. It will be my eighth sitting but it might not be classified as my eighth tattoo because this will all be one coming into one big tattoo. I'm not very nervous because I'm actually past that stage now of getting nervous for tattoos. I don't really feel nervous at all when I'm getting them. I probably start to feel nervous once I've sat down and she's actually stenciling it on. Then I'll probably be a wee bit more nervous but just for now I am fine. So I'll take this all along with me and we'll see how it goes. Okay so I'm walking to get my tattoo and the umbrella starts to fly away. Well, luckily enough, I saved it. Um, I wouldn't want Connor to be upset because this is the umbrella that he got from Rome. So I'd say that he'd probably be quite sad if it was broken because it's the only thing he brought back. It is absolutely broken! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to my tattoo cold, wet, hungry, and late. So that's a good mix. <laughs> Where I will be getting 
and tattooed today. That's Curly Station there. And then this is Craig's who owns and runs the shop. It's his shop. It's a pretty cool setup and it makes me feel really, really comfortable when I'm getting tattooed. All the cool hats and stuff. I got this, um, I got in this for Christmas, but I'm really comfortable stealing it right about now. Sure, we can share. Thank you, anyway, so I'm look, really looking forward to getting tattooed in here, and hopefully, it's not too painful. But either way, I'm here, I'm getting it done. Just tattooing away down there. I'm just chilling up here trying not to pass out. It's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Sitting like a pro. Feel good, na 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 na. That's it sore. It's um, it's not really sore. It's more like uncomfortable. Yeah. Do you feel uncomfortable, Carla? Me? Very <laughs> <laughs> comfy over here. Yeah. Get my cool new T-shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Off 
finished. The pain is over. Absolute torture. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> <laughs> the big man here is still sitting. Wouldn't fancy that, right? No, thank you.